This may be the best, if not one of the best, holsters for your sidearm out there. And absolutely nobody is talking about it. I never left, although it has been 10 years. Hey y'all, that's me. This is a horrible way to just dive back into YouTube. I am so sorry. For those who don't know, which is probably everybody since I've been gone so long, my name is Dom. And let me be kind of clear about this. This is not going to be a gun specific channel like this is gadgets this is tech this is everything that i love everything that i i purchase that i use in my day to day um which is a lot it 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 it, it, it it's too much actually i kind of realize how many uh gadgets and toys and things i have laying around and I never really do anything with them except for use them and then either throw them away or sell them because I'm a horrible person I just want to uh, start making these videos. Hopefully it helps somebody, you know, or a few of you decide on whether you want to purchase these products or not. Anyway, I don't even know why I'm doing this to myself because it, it's, I don't really have the time to do this. I just like to give myself uh, unachievable goals, apparently. Yeah, that's what I do. Hey y'all, it's me again. What, what, oh, oh, what the, what the, nailed it. Without further ado, let's get into this uh, video. Uh, this review on this holster um, it's amazing it took forever to get here but it's so worth it it is expensive but I'll, I'll explain all that but let, I'll just let you know it replaced my previous holster which is a great holster not bashing that, that company either the, the customer service with that particular company was amazing but this particular holster is so hard to beat it's it's ridiculous so here we have the topic of discussion this is the T5 Custom Kydex Papillon Holster, also known as the Butterfly for obvious. Uh, okay. okay. Let's get into it. Safety check. So let's go for a tabletop and I will show you all the cool little things why this is awesome. Yeah. So here we are. Really quick. Before you get started, I just want to go ahead and say in no way, shape or form am I being paid or compensated in any way for this review. So what is this beautiful beast of an appendix holster? This, like I said, is called the Papillon and we can go ahead and address the elephant in the room. This is definitely made to be in competition with tier one's Agus or Aegis uh, holster. That being said, the question comes into play, why? did I go with T5 instead of tier one? I shoot a Walther or the German pronunciation Walther PPQ Q4 TAC, uh, the M2 version. And I have a Olight Valkyrie PL2 mini and a Vortex Venom. To get this light with this gun in a holster from tier one, they said that, you know, they couldn't do. Uh, I talked directly to a customer service rep over there and they were like, yeah, unfortunately, you know, we can't do that for you. It's not going to happen. It wasn't anything hateful or anything like that. They just, you know, they're a bigger company. It's harder for them to make specific combinations, I guess, for guns that aren't Glocks. <laughs> I love Glocks. I'm not bashing Glocks. Don't, you know, get all riled up. And you know, I get it. Glocks, they're amazing. They have their reputation. They're so reliable. Like I said, I love them, but they're just not the only guns. The PPQ to me is like, uh, I put it this way, actually. The Glock is like a Mercedes. Beautiful, it just works. It's nice. The PPQ is kind of like, it's more rare. It's uh, it's like a 007 gun. It is, okay, yeah, it's like an Aston Martin. <laughs> It's like I asked him, Martin, you, if you know about it, you know about it. But at the end of the day, they're both beautiful. And basically, I'm not trying to pick one or the other. I'm just telling you to go buy both. Bruh. All of that was a good thing, though, because if they had never turned me down, then I would have never found out about the Papillon holster. Backstory, 
I found this company from a review on YouTube. I wasn't searching in particular for this company. It was just this guy had a bunch of holsters and one of them was a T5 custom Kydex holster. And for whatever reason, you could tell just by looking at it that it looked quality. It looked different from all the other holsters, like just the molds that they use. And I don't know what it is. The texture of their Kydex is different. The color on this is actually Cryptek Raid, which is insane. And the backing color is uh, it's called foliage green and together they are just too sick it's just too crazy so beautiful holster like i said since the ppq q4 tac is my home defense and carry gun of choice i had to make this holster for suppressor height sights although i'm honestly not sure if i'm going to upgrade that on my gun right away also i had to make it with the cutout for the 4.6 inch threaded barrel since we're talking about how the gun actually fits, we can talk about the retention. Now, the retention on this is intense. <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty perfect. It's not gonna go anywhere. It's, yeah, it's rock solid. I actually like my retention more loose. You'll hear a lot of guys say that because once the belt goes around it, it's adding even more pressure to it. You don't want it to be the hardest thing in the world to draw out. You just want it to be secure. The main selling point on the Aegis, the Axis, and the Papillon is the flexible hinge or flexible point, which wraps around your body, allows the claw right here to do better work, conceal better, and also makes it more comfortable for you to carry. This is 100% true. It works. If you ever saw the Aegis, the tier one Aegis, they have buttons here. So you just rip this off really quick and all of a sudden you just have a holster minus the Mad Caddy. You can do that here as well. It's just going to be a process. So that's a little bit of a con, but like I said, you could just unscrew those and it'll function the same exact way. It just takes a little bit more time. The clips came perfect. I mean, this holster sits so perfect. When it actually does sit inside the waistband, the cant angle is perfect. It just automatic. I don't know how they get it to cant perfectly like that without even touching it. It just works. One of the coolest features that I didn't realize, well, no, actually I realized it right away, was their mag caddy right here. There's a spring in there. So it's like a spring. So what happens is when you put in your mag, it kind of like forces the spring out and it causes tension. It is ingenious and it works. Here, let me do it so you can see it. It works beautifully. Like, it works really, really well. I didn't see any other holster that does that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that was ingenious to me and it locks it in so nice and love it. Love that feature. Another thing that I realized with uh, T5 custom Kydex holsters that are different is they make everything so ridiculously rounded to avoid sharp edges. Even some of the, uh, the Aegis and the Axis models I've seen have sharp or at least sharper uh, points down here, especially then that that's the part that really digs into your thigh if you don't you know, know how to carry appendix properly. That can leave a mark, but here I, I just forget it's on me. Uh, the claw is amazing. Um, this particular claw is smooth, it's round. Everything on this holster just worked out of the box. Don't really want to compare it against my previous holster, which is the MIE Productions. Uh, it's their kind of like their full holster and Mad Caddy model, and it just had a lot of things that I had to tweak, but definitely better than any random holster in the store. This one is in Cryptic Typhoon, but yeah, it's a different level of, I don't know what it is. Their finish is just different. You can almost see the difference. I don't know. It, it's just it's almost, it's textured and it's beautiful and uh, I just love it. So yeah, it was awesome that T5 was able to make all of the customizations I wanted as well as support the light slash gun combination that I needed it to support. You can clearly see the, uh, just the overall quality of the holster you know and i just i just honestly just love this thing so yeah that's pretty much all the close-up features that i can think to show you guys i'm probably missing a ton um, but in my opinion t5 just absolutely killed this so let's go ahead and finish this review back up top and we are back the last thing I really want to show you guys is how the holster actually fits on my person. I do have it on right now. And 
as you can see, you never really know. I do want to stress that appendix carry, like any form of carry, doesn't really feel natural at first. Probably a little bit more so than other places to carry, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, etc. But just keep trying. It didn't feel natural for me either, and now, you know, months later, I can sit, touch my toes, and yeah, it is on me right now. Draw speed doesn't really matter, that's more training than actually the holster. Okay, so this is an expensive holster. In fact, it's T5's most expensive holster. I think it's about $20 more than the uh, Axis and the Aegis right now. Would I recommend it? Yeah, I'm probably gonna buy a couple of these. Don't want the wife to hear that, but yeah. <laughs> probably gonna buy a couple of them. I think the next one I'm gonna get is going to be the Digi Camo. Urban camo, probably another cryptic. Oh, be sure to check out T5's Instagram because they post photos pretty regularly, probably two or three times a week, and their holsters are so ridiculously sick. Also, I will be reviewing all of the uh, accessories on my PPQ. I'll, I'll even review the PPQ uh, Q4 TAC for you guys. I know it's been out for a while and a lot of people have done reviews on it, but I'll just give you my take and just a bunch of my other toys. That being said, this review is now over. I am tired. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please stay tuned for more. Like, comment, please comment, uh, subscribe. Please subscribe. I will definitely be making a lot more videos for you guys. And just let me know. Let me know how I can improve the videos. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.